Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, Sunday the 20th of November and um, an update for you on how things shape up over the next couple of weeks. Um, thanks for watching these videos by the way, I'm amazed at how popular they've become and uh, thank you for clicking on the adverts too. Don't forget, if you see an advert you like, click on it because um, that generates revenue for us, shows the sponsors as well that you're uh, that you're watching the site and you're interested in what they're offering so thank you very much for that and um, first of all just wanted to kick off today with a shot from the Long Mind in Shropshire here look at that low cloud this morning Dri drizzly bits up there mist and fog and really that's the picture across much of the country as we go into this stagnating air mass ahead of the big changes that will be taking place this week um, this is the seven to ten day means of the um, 500 millibar flow ECMWF on this side GFS on this side this is running from next Sunday through to the following Wednesday so um, this takes us up to it must be what is that the 30th November yeah the 30th of November um, and what this is showing us on the ECMWF here are above normal heights to the south of the country, low the normal heights to the north and the resultant westerly jet stream coming in across the Atlantic bringing the more unsettled conditions. South always tending to stay in the milder conditions, north in the cooler weather and generally unsettled most of the rain probably through northern and western areas. However what's interesting on this is this ridge building off the eastern coast of the states. Now we've got to watch this because if this pumps warm air northwards this ridge builds and we get a northwesterly compensatory northwesterly trough that develops across the British Isles and across Europe which could bring the potential for much much colder conditions as we get through sort of about the 5th or the 6th of December that sort of time. Now that's on the ECMWF. The GFS already has that trough on there look the ridge much stronger over the eastern states compensatory northwesterly trough here through the UK much of Western Europe much much colder conditions across the British Isles with the jet stream to the south which means that we're in the cold side of the jet most of the rain across southern England showers across the north wintry at that so take your pick between the two which one are we going to go for well GFS does tend to overdo these things, so it does tend to pick up a pattern and then sort of run with it and take it to a, 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 its extreme. ECMWF has a tendency um, in this situation sometimes to warm things through a little bit, but I prefer this. I, I like this solution. I like this idea of it being unsettled, but the south still potentially staying with temperatures perhaps around or above normal as we get into the back end of... Uh, of next weekend into the beginning of the week after next but colder air always across Scotland and Northern Ireland and some wintry showers across the north so I think what we're going to go for is the coming week is certainly the changeover week it looks as if things becoming settled through this week there'll be strong winds rain at times for all of us particularly once we get past uh, tomorrow then I think towards next weekend there's potential for things to become more stormy as we head into next weekend and then um, I think into the following week we're going to be seeing temperatures probably um, getting above uh, above normal uh, across the south but below normal towards the north now this is the evolution of the GFS model and let me just take you through to next Saturday look there Saturday on the GFS look that's very similar isn't it to the ECMWF there's the jet stream across the top look so unsettled conditions take it a little bit further forward and it starts to build that ridge across the eastern states look and, and notice how it deepens this trough as that ridge builds through so you can see the evolution as to why it's doing what it's doing and then the GFS by middle of the week after next returns back to this normal westerly jet stream so I'm actually going to go for temperatures near normal for the time of year I think come the beginning of the week after next across most of the country and just show you the um, how it shapes up in terms of the seven day forecast for precipitation the anomalies this is from the GFS again um, so this takes us through from uh, today through to uh, sorry let me do a, 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 a refresh on that and uh, this will be the precipitation forecast which doesn't take us through from there to there so my apologies for that let's go on and have a look <laughs> don't you just love technology don't you just love it let's take you through to show you the uh, what do I want to show you these there we go 
this is the Arctic Oscillation. You can see it stays in positive territory. Um, comes down to near and neutral though. Look around the beginning of December. So it's kind of trying to get down there, which means weaker winds circling the Arctic, weaker westerly winds. Could that interrupt the flow? It might do. And then this is the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation. Tending to stay in positive territory, look, but it is heading back to near and neutral. We need to watch this because if this is taking place at the beginning of December, that could hold a tendency for pressure to try and build across uh, the Atlantic and things to turn cooler. But for now, hopefully that's given you some indication as to where we think things are going. Certainly unsettled, more unsettled than we have seen through this week. Pretty breezy too. Turning colder next week, particularly across Scotland. Temperatures in the far south, possibly holding above normal. Some wind and rain for all of us. Thanks for watching. Keep the sun shining.